Hello my friends, I am super excited today. I am headed to set up my booth for Vintage Market Days, which is a three day market. I believe it travels the nation, but it's in our neck of the woods. So I kind of last minute decided to grab a booth to sell my linen products. So I thought it would be fun to kind of take you along, show you what the booth ends up looking like. And maybe if I get some spare time to shop around, I'll show you some of the things I find. But I'm really excited to do this and try it out. I have never sold my linen products at a market. I have done my planners at Pinner's Conference um, and a cookbook that my sister and I wrote, but never my linen products. So I'm excited to see how this goes. I will say I'm really excited to set up the booth because it's fun for me to style it and create a beautiful little shopping experience. However, I am not excited for three days of wearing actual pants <laughs> and being around people. I'm a little panicky about that. That is a lot for this introvert. So I may check out for some time afterwards to recover. Anyway, I hope you enjoy coming along with me and seeing what I see. Show you what I've got. Um, so these are our linen lavender eye pillows that have a slip cover. They're so nice. When I'm having a hard time sleeping, these are just a lifesaver. Then these are our linen scarves, and I've hung them right there. I just think it looks super pretty. And then here's our linen ribbon, which is just beautiful. We have one inch, two inch, and three inch in several colors. And here we've got plenty of linen tea towels. The first thing I kind of started with, and I'm just growing from there as I can, but it's super beautiful, just that array of colors. You can come and touch them and feel them. They're just so pretty. So some of them we fray the edge, and when you wash them, that looks really, really pretty. And then these ones have a clean hem, so no frayed edge. So. Either one is very beautiful. This is a last minute throw together, but we put together some bags of herbs since I've bought them wholesale and in bulk. So we have the stuff for herbs. And then I've put together tea blends with some of my favorite blends of herbs to use for, I have headache and stress tea. Here's a digestion tea blend and our favorite sore throat tea blend. So I'm very curious to see how those go. I thought I'd grab some of these in case some people just don't have what they need to make tea. There's these tea balls that they can put in their cup of hot water. I've got some French presses. Here's my little flyers. And then since I have these, I'm throwing them out there. Here's our 2022 day planners. I wish the 2023 was available, but it's not yet so soon. In fact, by the time I put out this video, I might have them already. But I'm just going to sell these for super cheap for anyone that wants to try it out for a few months and see if this planner works for them. Um, and if you want to know more about my day planner, definitely check the links below. I had some sketchbooks left, so I brought them as well. Here are my favorite items. This is a linen quilted stocking that I designed. They're so beautiful. They have kind of a sewn-in cuff, which I really like. They are linen inside and out, so this is very nice quality. 
heirloom quality right here. So I have the quilted style, and then I thought I would make a non-quilted. So it's more of a plain stocking, more of a minimalistic look. And it also has a sewn-in cuff line, so I just really like that seam right there. I think it makes it really unique. But these are so beautiful, just the feel of them, how they lay. Linen just has my heart. And my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law are the ones sewing these. So when my sister-in-law gets here tomorrow, she has more colors and varieties for me. So I'm gonna hang all those up right there and I'll show you once it's fully stocked. But this is set up and ready to go and I'll be back in the morning for the market. My girl and I have made observations of which booths do really well. I'm going to show you a couple in case you want to start a business. These are the ones that you should do. So we're next to a caramel apple booth and their line is non-stop. They told me, let me see if I can give you a shot of their caramel apples. That thing was full. They told me that they sell two to three thousand caramel apples a day at this market. She just has to do a couple of markets and she's got her yearly income. So <laughs> caramel apples in a fall market and you're 
good, good. So these benches have been flying off the shelves to the floor, however you want to say it. Um, and they can swap out this cover. Here we go, you can see that over here. They swap out these covers and these sell like hot hotcakes. I was actually really surprised. But they are cute. What a fun idea. These clothes booths are always busy. I think they've sold a lot of inventory. Okay, I hope I don't install anyone here. You guys know this isn't quite my style. It's, a, it's pretty trendy, but this booth has been busy for three days. So here's the funny thing. These are these polyester towels and people love to touch and feel them. And I put my linen towels next to them. <laughs> and these won. They won polyester towels over linen tea towels. I don't get it, but I guess they are pretty cute. Okay, I'm going up to this thing. This table has stickers for like $3. And the kids flock to it and the parents buy them. So, what do you know? Stickers. So all the markets I've been to, Pinner's Conference, everything, I always see Mad Dash mixes. And they make up their mixes there in the crock pot and sample all day long. The guy's always in a kilt. <laughs> I love it. He's very friendly. But they're just mixes like chicken soup mixes or dry powdered onion soup bases. People love them. I've seen a lot of dehydrated food in a lot of booths and I hear they go pretty good. Even dehydrated or freeze-dried, sorry, freeze-dried Skittles and Starbursts. <laughs> People love them. <laughs> I don't, I don't get the candy thing, but I'll admit, I'm a sucker for some freeze-dried fruit. Don't surprise me, my daughter says so she's been trying to get into this ring and necklace booth and she can't ever get into it because there's so many people. <laughs> it just surprises me, I guess just because I don't like jewelry very much, but women do. Cute, a little yarn tree that's framed. What a fun DIY idea. Of course, there are a lot of vintage booths. That's what mostly is here, but it's in the other building that we're not in. Um, but that other building with all the vintage goods is always busy, it's packed. <laughs> so I've been going there in the morning when it's not so busy, but all the vintage stuff is, is why they do this market. So it does really well and draws the people that are ready to pick through stuff and find treasures. It's like two building fulls two building full of treasures to pick through. Of course, the food vendors are always hopping. I got myself pad thai yesterday. It was really yummy. Operation Underground Railroad is here. Love them. These gals, Rocky Red. It's an apothecary. They have so many great products. Tinctures, goat milk lotions. I actually got some clarity. Heading for leave tinctures. I just learned about them, and their booth is always busy. They're always talking to people. Well, that was a whirlwind of a weekend, and I am very tired. <laughs> I'm going to need to take it easy for a couple days. Um, but I want to show you what I got. I am really, really excited about some of the finds, and... I want to show you. So I found a couple of these envelope or mail sorters and I thought they'd be really cute in our office like hanging on both sides um, of my husband and I's spots. So I thought it was fun to find two kind of in a wicker style and it'll actually be very handy to sort mail and things in those. Okay, now don't judge. This is my <laughs> life after market. Everything is very unorganized. But I've got all these shelves to fill and decorate for our office. So I was kind of on the lookout for that. And I found this cute terracotta swan. Where's the duck? Bird? <laughs> I 
I just thought it was really, really sweet and would look nice next to just about anything. So I liked that a lot. All right, how adorable are these baskets? These are from my friend Holly's booth. I actually forgot to film her booth because I was so busy talking to her. But oh, I just love this picnic basket. I've always wanted a cute wicker one. Haven't really seen one that I absolutely loved, but that is so adorable. And then this one will be so nice to kind of take out and clip herbs and fill it. I just thought it was so pretty. She's got such a good eye for finding treasures. So I always want to buy everything in her booth, but that's what I came away with. For my girl's bathroom, um, they like to see the back of their hair instead of just some ugly old mirror. I got this cute thing. Oh, the tag is still on there. 18 bucks. But I thought it was very adorable. Here is what my daughter bought with her hard-earned money for helping me. She is a crazy plant lady. <laughs> through and through. She was so excited. A booth when we were um, packing up put all their plants at 50% off. So she went and got those and she put them so cute in her room. I love it. The most exciting find for me was this set of six bistro chairs. I've been looking for something like this for so long and they were only $30 a piece, which I thought was a great deal. They're vintage and so sturdy. I just think they're adorable. Oh my, look at all this chicken poop. <laughs> uh, anyway, let me show you where I plan to put these and why I've been looking for something like this. So we have this beautiful table my husband built on our porch. Um, and we just put these benches here that he built a long time ago, but didn't really work for our table anymore. And I really wanted some chairs like this for this table. One, because we can push them in and not have them so much in the way but also like when we sit on the porch we have two rocking chairs but then when the kids want to join us there's not enough chairs so these will be much easier for them to just pull up next to us and then put back around the table so i'm gonna scrap these i'm sure hubs will find a use for the wood it's white oak so it's really quite beautiful but We'll tear it apart, use the wood in another way, and put these cute chairs all around the table. I was so excited about that find. Look at this beautiful framed cross-stitch piece of a horse. Is that what it is, cross-stitch? I thought it was so beautiful. And it'll go perfect in my daughter's little cottage core bedroom. She loves horses. And I think this will just be darling in there. I thought I would just summarize this video to give you a little recap on how I feel the uh, market went for me. Um, I mean, I definitely covered my expenses, plus a little. <laughs> but here, after the whole thing was over, here is my overall conclusion. I feel like if I would have spent the three, well, actually like four to five days it took to like set up, be there, take down, clean up, all the prep work. Anyway, if I would have taken that time and devoted it to my online marketing, I feel like the fruits would have been more beneficial and I would have seen more come out of it. But that said, um, I also get tired of sitting behind the computer for my job and just being in front of screens. So it was really nice to do something different. It was awesome to spend a day with my sister-in-law doing that and then two days with my daughter that she was with me. The memories were just incredible. So even though I'm tired, I feel like it was worth it and we had a good time and it was actually just really nice to be able to <laughs> shop around to the market for three days when I needed a break. So that was fun. Anyway, I don't know that I'll bring my linen or planner products to a market again. I feel like they're not trendy or eye-catching enough for a market, but online I can bring the people to me that are looking for those things. So it's easy for me to get the right audience rather than just passer buyers and kind of cold sales as they call them. <laughs> anyway, so that's my thought on that. thoughts on that if you're curious. Um, my linen products and my planner products are online. I'm actually revamping a website and we'll have it all up very soon. The linen products 
are on Etsy and I have my own planner product website, tidbitsplanners.com, but I'm moving that all to tidbitsandcompany.com. So keep an eye there. I'm going to launch everything there. Um, the stockings will be up soon. I just need to recover for a little bit and then it'll all be there. Or maybe you're watching this later and it's there. So go and check out tidbitsandcompany.com where I'm going to have all my products and then hopefully keep adding things as I um, get excited to create them for you. So thank you for watching and joining me for this um, fun impromptu video. And I hope you enjoyed coming to the market with me. And I will talk to you very soon. And of course, be back to share more inspiration for the keeper of the home. See you later.